Hi guys, welcome back to DIY and Slime Life. I'm here today, and so, very sad news. I uh, ran out of all of my glue. Back, um, let me see, about three or four months ago, my friend got me for my birthday her uh, a gallon of white glue and a quart of clear glue. And um, about four days ago, I used it all. So I'm very sad, and I have the itching to make a new slime, but I have no glue to make it with. So I went online and looked for some no-glue slimes, and I found this. I came across this, this recipe with good housekeeping soap and shampoo. So I think I'm going to try it out. The, the girl in the video that I, the video I watched, she said it worked pretty well. Um, I'll leave a link to you, um, to the link of that video, so you guys can go back and watch it and see if you, you have more, if you have results more like her or me, and it's the first time I've tried this recipe, so we'll see how it goes. So first, we're gonna need some good housekeeping soap. Um, it's just perfect soap for, sli for soap slime because look how jiggly it is. It's very jiggly, so I think it'd be, a, it's, that's why it's a great fit for any soap slime, because it is so jiggly, and, um, I'll also be using this one from Simple Pleasures, and, called Ocean Mist, and it's not as jiggly, it's more of, like, runny, but, like, not as jiggly. Not as jiggly as this. This is more like a jello consistency. So, you're going to use some squirts of this. This is kind of an old <clears throat> container, you can tell by um, kind of rusty over there. So, I'm going to squirt a little bit more. Maybe squirt more of that one, too. There. So now we're done with the coconut. Oh, and by the way, this one's scented coconut lime. It smells very good. Time for our, our Simple Pleasures Ocean Mist. Put a couple squirts of that in. This one smells very good, too. Okay. Now I'm going to put a little bit, um, I think I'm going to put a little bit of blue and green food dye on the tip of the spoon so when I go to mix it it'll look like a blue green because that's the color of the soaps so I'm gonna add a dot to that and then a dot to that about the same amount this side's blue this side's green push those off to the side now we're gonna start mixing Okay, look, it's looking very green right now. I might add a little more blue because it's looking very green right here. Mmm, this one smells so good. This smells super good. Dude, this is looking more of like a, a dark green. Not really what I was going for, but I'm not going to add any more color to this because uh, this the shampoo should lighten it up. So you can tell it's kind of slimy already. It's it, it leaves stuff on my hands, but I don't know if that's just because the dye or what. But I'm just going to mix it. And so that should be good enough for now. And then we're going to use our shampoo. So the girl in the video that I watched, um, she used Pantene shampoo. I don't happen to have Pantene shampoo. So I wanted to see if this worked any better. This is Garnier Fructis, I think it is. Um, active, it has active fruit protein, protein and moisture lock, um, cactus extract. So this smells very good too. This, the all three of these soaps, all three of these smell very good, and that's one of the main reasons I I picked them up. 
these two soaps I picked up from my Grammy's house. And we usually use this for our hair. So, and this is very good shampoo along with the conditioner. So, put a little of this in. I don't know how much I'm going to add. I'll add about that much for now. I was very skeptical of this recipe at first because, like, soap, I'd never heard using, because usually when you make soap slime, you usually only use it with, you only use, um, like, like, uh, soft soap or, uh, Equase or whatever the brands are called. Um, Lysol, I've seen people use Lysol before. Um, comment down below if you think we should use, if I should try this again and use Lysol instead of Good Housekeeping and Simple Pleasures. So, keep mixing this. See, it got, a, it got lighter, so I think the shampoo helped it get lighter. Um, here we go. And right now, I've been experimenting with um, some ways of making soap slime. So I've been experimenting with a way to make soap slime. I've used this soap, this soap. Um, I've used, not used this shampoo, but I used another shampoo from Garnier um, with aloe vera in it. And I used kosher salt. And I have used a little bit of the Pantene I found at my grandma's house. So, I've been experimenting with it. It's blue, and um, maybe at the end of the video, I'll show you. Or in another video, I'll show you guys. So this is coming together pretty nice. It's not sticking my hands very much. A little, a little soap suds getting off, but I think I'm gonna add a little more. And mix that up more. Sorry for the squeaking. That's my uh, chair. My chair is kind of old on my desk. So I like this green. Mmm, this smells so good. The mixture of all three of coco of coconut, lime, ocean mist, and uh, cactus. It smells super good. If you were to use any of the same soaps. I would use those three, or uh, at least one of the two of these soaps. They smell super good with this shampoo. So if you have this shampoo, or you have one of these two soaps, make sure you go out and get the other kind, either the soap or the shampoo, because these smell very good together. So I think it's coming together good. And, I th and then after, so once it's come together nicely, you're going to throw it in the freezer. She said for about five minutes, I think she said. Um, yeah, it's kind of sticking to me a little. Maybe the freezer will help. I think I'm going to put it in a little longer. We'll see how long I put it in for. And I'll be right back. Hey, guys. Earlier in the video, I told you I might be showing you guys my soap slime concoction that I've been trying to make. I've been trying to experiment with different kinds of ways to get it to work. So I think I, I, I just put this in the freezer, so it's coming together nice. I've been experimenting with this for about four days-ish, and it's coming together like slime, but sometimes it's like really, I don't know how you explain it, like runny, and this is more of like a marshmallow, like it feels like marshmallows, and it looks like marshmallows, and it kind of feels like marshmallows, it's kind of jiggly sticks in my hands a little but that was me like running my hands in the slime so so like that's after I poke it and I'll wipe it off with a towel because this is a very nice slime um, I've just been trying to get it perfect so I can perfect a recipe um, I use these two soaps and I use some kosher salt some Pantene that the original recipe called for, but I did, and then I used some Garnier um, aloe vera soap shampoo. So I'm gonna try to put some of this in here, maybe activate it a little more. We'll see. 
and one time I had mine overnight and then I came out and it froze like it froze like solid so to let it um, cool warm up actually and so that's how that went and so this is turning into more of a marshmallowy consistency like like it feels like a marshmallow it feels like marshmallows it's kind of sticky um, but soap slime is known for being sticky because it's not a hundred percent slime uh, maybe a squirt of this and a squirt of this. Like, this is literally how I've been experimenting with this. I've literally been just like, oh, this sounds cool. I should just add this into it and see if this helps it. So this has been in the freezer a lot lately, a lot in the past four weeks. So I think I'm going to wait and let this freeze solid through. Um... When it freezes solid, I'll show you guys. Maybe, we'll see. Maybe I'll make a whole video dedicated to this slime. But we'll see. Um, now we're going to be coming back to the slime in the freezer. So, bye. Okay, guys. So, I just took the slime out of the fr freezer. It was in there for about 10 to 20 minutes. And you can tell there's frost along the edges. So, so first you're going to peel all the frozen soap slime concoction off the edge. Get it in the middle to be mixed back in with the normal slime. And then just start mixing it up. And it'll pick up all the chunks and they will disintegrate fast. Not disintegrate, but like melt. It, it's pretty good, the slime, so far, I think. Um, I don't think it would be a pickup, the slime that you'd pick up and, like, stretch, like, a normal slime you would play with. Like, this slime, it would not be, it would obviously not be a slime where you could pick up and stretch and twirl and squeeze and do all that mix, make uh, swirls. It would be not a slime to do that. It would be more of a slime to like spin around on the spoon or like scrape or watch like fall down like that. I think that'd be more of what the slime would do. Not really a slime you'd pick up and make swirls with. So, oh, this is, this is a very cold because it was just spent 10, 15, 10, 20 minutes in the, in the freezer. This is super cold. So I'm going to wipe my hands off and we're going to see if this sticks. So let's see if it sticks. So I'm going to hold a free hand. So, okay. So there's a little bit of soap on me, but that's okay. This is, you know what this would be to be a great mother's day present or Christmas present, um, or birthday present for someone um, who, you could use this to wash your hands, since this is made with hand soap and conditioner. This would be great for washing hands. Not so much hand wa hair washing, because the hand soap can, uh, not, do, would not be good to your hair. Okay, so this little piece I can kind of pick up. It's like, eh, I still wouldn't recommend picking up the slime, just because... It's so sticky. Like, trying to get it off my hands. It doesn't, like a normal slime, it does not take the slime off of your hands. So let me just clean up my hands here. So I'm covered in green goo. Looks like I was just dumped in Nickelodeon slime. <laughs> so, um, I'm just going to keep mixing this up. Scrape it off a little. It doesn't all clump together. Like it doesn't, like when you spin it around the bowl, it doesn't pick up stuff on the walls unless you scrape it off and put it in the slime. But let's take it out of the bowl and see how it looks. 
It doesn't put holes in the slime like normal slime does. Still very sticky. Try and pick it up. Yeah, very sticky, very messy. If you do not like messy stuff, first of all, you shouldn't be playing with slime. Um, but if you do not like slime, messy stuff, do not make this slime. Do not try this slime because it will be very sticky when you try and pick it up. So, I don't recommend it to people that don't like sticky and messy stuff. I, for one, love mess, sticky and messy. I'm, a, I'm not afraid to get my hands dirty, but I know some other people that don't, so this will not be a good slime for them. Um, this is great because if you want to, for little kids, or not little, little kids, but like for like five-year-olds that know not to put this in their mouth, um, if you need to clean a table, this and you and you need to keep them occupied this would be great because you get the soap on the table you got all the soap on the table and then they're playing with it and it's all over the table and then you can just wash it off and clean the table so if you're preparing for dinner and your kids are really bored um make make some of this and throw it on the table before you wash it before you go to wipe down the table and clean it and let them play with this for a little bit and then tell them to tell them no more and then you've got a clean table see this table will be very clean because I will be using that technique definitely and this I did not get this from the video I came up with this on my own my brother did this my mom I actually came up with it. My mom was trying to clean the table. My brother was bored. And I was playing with this and making such a mess. I thought that would be a great idea. So I thought I'd share it with you guys. Um, if any of you guys ever tried that or am I the first one to come up with this, please tell me in the comments. Um, I think this is a really fun slime to just like drag your hands in and just like get dirty. Like, just get yourself dirty and that's it. Just like have fun with it. So, kind of disintegrated mine, but it's kind of like melted into the table. Not melted into the table, but like it's spread out on the table and everything. So, this is very messy. I made it a lot more messy than it should have been. But this is just so showing that this can be a very messy slime. Um, I do not recommend having children be playing with this unless they know not to eat this. Because this can be very toxic with both hand soap and conditioner in it or shampoo in it so please do not have kids that don't know that um this is also very fun like just waves through it so i hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure to like subscribe and turn the notification bell on for my channel and we're doing and i'm going to start doing a subscriber shout out so my first subscriber shout out is going to be for Iron Dragon. Um, he followed me a couple days ago. He started following me a couple days ago. I will leave a link to his channel below so you guys can check it out. Subscribe to him. He look, he seems like a pretty cool guy. Um, tune in for the next for next next um, episode. Sorry, I cannot speak today. Next episodes. Uh, subscriber shout out and make sure to subscribe and like to make sure you are entered into this video and you make sure you go follow my snapchat it's my DIY snapchat it's DIY underscore life 88 and then my snapchat or my slime snapchat slime underscore life 88 I try to post daily haven't been doing much because nobody's really been watching it so if you want me to post more uh, give me some views on my some stuff and comment if you would like it so uh thanks have a great day and uh remember to share this video out and uh see how it works so hopefully see you later bye